Hello guys, today's our topic is all about the tinea manus. So first of all I would like to say that if you not subscribe my channel, so please subscribe and press the bell icon to never miss any update. So guys let's start the topic. Tinea manus. Tinea manus uh, is uh, an uh, epidermal chronic dermatophytic fungal infections of the hand or hands. This tinea manus may be occurs in one hand or both hand of the individuals. So guys, tinea manus is usually associated with tinea pedis and tinea cruris fungal infections. So guys, what is the clinical manifestations of tinea manus? So tinea manus is an uh, asymptomatic fungal infections characterized by a scaling patches, hyperkeratosis. Hyperkeratosis means uh, uh, abnormal keratins are present or thickening of the outer layer of the skins. And uh, the guys uh, in tinea manus fissures uh, are also present on the palms of the hand. In fissures, uh, the narrow or cracking uh, openings are present on the palms so guys <coughs> sorry tinea manus is usually raised in border so guys in tinea manus the borders are enlarged or raised and in the central the uh, infections are clear so it is uh, an acute inflammatory rashes Sorry, in tinea manus, acute inflammatory rashes are uh, also present like tinea corporis fungal infections. And uh, I already told it is associated with tinea pedis and tinea cruris fungal infections. So guys, uh, uh, what is the transmission of tinea manus? So tinea manus is uh, transmitted by contact with uh, another site of infections. Suppose uh, a person uh, who are suffering from tinea pedis and tinea cruris, so they they also have uh, um, they they also have tinea manus. So tinea pedis uh, most commonly occurs in feet and tinea cruris most commonly occurs in growing area. So guys, uh, <clears throat> it uh, tinea manus. Uh, it also transmitted by direct contact uh, uh, with an infected animals or soil. Uh, so guys, uh, um, symptoms of tinea manus. So tinea manus. In tinea manus, the infected area is uh, normally small and gradually becomes larger over time. So it uh, it uh, start on the palm. This tinea manus uh, fungal infections uh, first uh, start on the palm of the hand, and uh, it may or may not be spread to the finger and back of the hand of the patient. So guy in tinea manus cases, uh, the itchy and red and scaly appearance. Uh, uh, present uh, to the patient. So guys, uh, I am going to tell about the diagnosis of uh, tinea manus. So how we will diagnose tinea manus? We will uh, examine, we will examine scales uh, from the infected area uh, and then we will, uh, uh, we will examine under the microscope of the scales, scales of the individuals. So guys, uh, what is the treatment of tinea manus? So this uh, turbina fine, this is the topical antifungal inf drugs and uh, we should uh, give uh, to the patient uh, who are who is suffering from tinea manus fungal infections. And we should also give itraconazole and fluconazole to the patients who are suffering from um, tinea manus fungal infections. So guys, uh, 
how we will prevent tinea minus <clears throat> so prevention of tinea minus i am going to discuss so we should uh, keep uh, our hands clean and dry especially in a person who are using gloves regularly so guys uh, uh, we should also prevent tinea minus uh, by avoid uh, direct contact with uh, those who have uh, an acute cases of tinea like tinea minus tinea cruris tinea uh, tinea corporis these are the also fungal infections and we should also avoid with contact with this type of fungal infection and uh, we should uh, also avoid a scratching of uh, the infected area of the uh, patient or individual so guys uh, i hope you like my video so guys thank you so much for listening